The most common area for uh, the tent poles to break is this section right in here. Uh, these used to be plastic. Uh, for some of the uh, newer, or some of the original uh, version tents, and uh, this plastic swivel on the top crossbar uh, occasionally would break based upon the load uh, tension on there. So if you need to replace this section, uh, it is very easy. The uh, first thing you'll do is you'll come on either end of the poles. Uh, so there's two crossbar sections here. And uh, you'll just open it up, open up the bungee. And here in the bungee, there'll be a, a single knot. The knot you can then undo with your hands or with a small pair of pliers. So if you need a small pair of pliers, just grab some needle nose pliers. You can come in and take the knot out. And then after you, uh, just make sure that you keep your hand on the knot uh, with the bungee so it doesn't all go in if you're doing a long section. Uh, but here on the cross section, it's a little bit easier. So come in and undo the knot. So if I'm just holding it here like this, this helps the whole thing from uh, slinging in. Uh, so I'm gonna now come over here and pull this section away, let go of that. So now I have the bungee right here in my hand. So now we can come into the crossbar section and pull this out. And now we have one more section that we're going to need to take out as well. So uh, in order to replace this part, if this part was, part was broken or the plastic one. To do that, you'll now come over to another section of it. So you can pull this out and within a triple joint here, this would be the crossbar joint, there is also another small bungee. You can undo that. Same thing, undo the knot. There's a little uh, metal loop in there just to help the uh, inside or the uh, bungee from not sliding in with a knot. Just adds additional security. If you don't have that little uh, metal loop, you can also do a double knot on there just to ensure that that stays from going all the way inside through that hole there and through the tube. So you'll see here on the joint ends, the tube has an insert inside of here compared to other parts of the tent pole will not have the insert. So this is a wider hole without a, a sleeve inside of there. So that's on, the, on these triple joint areas. So you can see that will help also avoid um, the, the, the knot sliding inside. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in here and since we pull that knot out, uh, I can hold this section and then come over to this section here where I want to replace that. Just remember which poles you have where. We're going to put this to the side. This was our cross bar, bowl, uh, cross bar pole. We'll set this one over here to the side and then we have these two other ones that will go into the middle joint here and here. So I'm going to pull this apart, pull this out, Come here, and now this little middle one, say this was broken, I can come in here and pull this out. Now, you can see there's a top part and a bottom part. So we just did the bottom part. So I'm gonna come in and grab the bottom part, which has the hole on it, put my bungee cord, or shock cord we also call it, through it, so we've got the shock Board, coming through that side and now I can feed this bungee through here same pole that I had done on this section keep pushing it through we've got it through here now I'm going to do the same and I'm going to just kind of pull the cord the shock cord this way here so it gives me enough to now push it through the next one and now this next one's going to have that insert in it because it's going to then join up with this section here okay so just remember to use the right holes and the same process also applies if you needed to replace a pole section so if a pole get a high wind storm you bent a pole we can also take this pole section off and replace it with another one uh, just notify us based upon which section it is. 
Some of the suction poles are different lengths, and we also want to ensure that we send you the right type of pole uh, if it has an insert into it based upon if it's located at the triple joint here. Okay, and so now we're just going to pull this bungee, the shock cord, through here, keep pulling it as I'm pinching on it so it doesn't keep going back. Pinch, push, and now it just came through on this other side. Okay, now I can push this through this section here and feed it through. Now I'll tie a knot in here with the little washer loop, just a loop over, or we call it also granny knot, very small here. Let that go inside of there, tuck the extra excess in. So now we just successfully uh, fix that section. Uh, and then let's pull all these poles together. It makes it a little bit more manageable. We're getting into the next part. Okay, and now we're gonna work on this uh, crossbar section, right? So the first part that we had taken off, right to right here, this is the top, and now we need to put that crossbar across there. So first thing is the one side, we're gonna push it through, comes here, and then that first part that we took off. So it will have an open sleeve or open hole. There'll be no insert on either side. Now do watch that sometimes you'll see a little rivet, a pinch right here because some of our latest poles uh, now have threading on here. So there's an actual threading on the inside so that you have to, uh, it's this side here, you would push this in and screw it in versus just pull it. So there are two different types, the upgraded ones now have that threading to undo it. Otherwise, you can use either side of this if it doesn't have the threading. The threading would just have a little uh, pinch and a little bump on the inside so that threading can go through the bump. Otherwise, we can just come on and slide this through in the same way as I'm gonna have to pull the shock cord as I'm sliding this in. Okay, so just gonna pull it. Cool, cool. I'm watching the other end here. See if we can show this in the camera as well as I'm pulling it through. Okay, and so I just keep pulling. Cool, cool. Just take a little bit more. Yeah, now we made it. All right, so now oh, we'll push it a little bit more, give us a little bit more hand space there come on this other end. Yeah, sometimes it gets a little crazy. If you don't give it enough space there, you just wanna make sure you have enough to pinch it. Come on this side, pinch this one too. Give yourself some good space to work. Plenty of shock cord in order to tie a loop onto it. Cause now we're gonna get this and slide it in here. And then based upon how tight you like your poles, we usually uh, like them fairly tight so that it uh, quickly sets up and all the joints feed into place. And then we'll just tie a knot over and straight down. It's a simple knot. We do like to have this facing down here so that you can then put the excess of the shock cord inside of here with a knot that still fits inside. And that will slip in. And like I said, the earlier, some of the newer models will have, so you have to unscrew this just slightly where it will lock into place. That's how you would replace this midsection here or any section of pole based upon needing to get in from these outside areas or getting in from this triple joint white uh, joint here to get inside of this area. Uh, just make sure you let us know which side it is too if you do need a pole replacement because we do have the black ends also follow the same process for getting into the black ends. And this is color coded based upon the, uh, the feet end of the tent, which is more narrow, uh, versus the other end or the head end of the tent, which is wider. Uh, and we've color coded the poles in order to help best fit that. So this one here with the black, sometimes these knots, just wanna make sure that this pushes in with the shock cord, the same way as we just did with that last one so that this will pop in.
feel free to reach out if you have any questions or if you would like us to do the repair for you, uh, we will provide you an address where you can ship it to us and we can then make a repair of a section for you at no cost to you, just pay shipping costs. And uh, or we can also do the, the crossbar section too if you ever had to, re uh, had to repair. Thank you.